we start doing any painting, we want to file off all of our edges nice and smooth, just so it looks nice and finished. Sometimes when you use the salt dough, it does get a little uh, crumbly on the edges. That's okay. And I use a basic old nail file because I find that easier to handle than sandpaper. But if you want to use sandpaper, go right ahead. And then with the dust, I'm just going to brush off all the dust. You can blow it off if you want, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to cover completely in Mod Podge to start. Um, just one thin coat. It just kind of helps the paint lay nicer because sometimes when you do the salt dough, it gets a little cracky. Uh, that's a word. But it leaves like little grooves. So this Mod Podge will fill in all the grooves so that when I go to lay the paint on, it'll lay nice and smooth right on top. I'm going to do both sides and then the edges and then I'm going to let it dry and we're going to come back and do the paint. The first thing we're going to do is completely cover it in white. The entire ornament in white. This is going to be the base. It's easier to do this than to try to um, paint the edge of the glass separate than the actual uh, margarita. So I'm gonna make this all the way white, all the way around. And then we'll let it sit and dry. Don't forget our line. We sanded him and put a base coat of Mod Podge. And now we're doing our white, which is the rind. Now for the boozy part and the lime, what I'm using is Martha Stewart's uh, green curry. I use this color a lot, it's so pretty. We're going to go right into painting our drink. What I like to do is get as close to the edge as possible, go all the way around. Do my edges first, it just makes it a little easier. And you can even, because you're using a paintbrush, uh, this is a round tip brush, this is a number two round. So you can get close and kind of push it to the edge. If you want to, you can go around and draw a thin you know, line, a guideline for yourself. I think the very first one I did, I, I might have done that. And you fill it in. You just want to get close and smooth to the edge and fill it in. Let's get close and smooth to this edge over here. Try to stay in the center. Because you just want to like the white is the glass. I like a full glass. Don't be cheating me on my margarita now. So we're going to go all the way to the edge. I'm not going to go to the edge here because I want to add the glitter to make the salt for the rim of the margarita. Well, in my case, it would be sugar. I don't do salt. Um, so I'm going to leave it white so that the white glitter shows better. And just fill this all in. Let's go all the way down to the bottom there and back up. There we go. And all the way to this edge. Nice and even, same as the other side. And then, again, the top doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to make it like it's salt. So I actually don't want it smooth because, you know, the sugary or salty edges are always a little jagged. And you don't have to make this green. I like a plain margarita, but hey, I like a peach margarita or a raspberry. I'm in Philly, there's a place called Lost Margaritas. We eat there all the time. It's my favorite. I am gonna draw the citrus wedges. I just think it would be a little bit easier. So draw a little triangle here with a curved bottom. Another triangle here with a curved bottom. Another triangle here with a curved bottom. And then, of course, one over here. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. You'll, you'll fix it up when you do the painting. This is a very thin brush I use purposely to get little seeds. And then also on my wine glass, oh, I'm not, sorry, I'm a wino too. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of sh sh uh, glare, I guess you could say, on the margarita glass. Just a little bit up the side, so it looks like it's the side of the glass. 
Okay, and to finish up, I did put the glitter on. I don't know what happened to the video. I somehow accidentally deleted it. It's not the first time I've done that. Uh, it was simple. I just put a little Mod Podge with the sponge applicator on the edge and then dipped a little um, my extra fine white glitter on there. I like the way that looks on there. Now to finish it, I also sprayed it with triple thick crystal clear glaze. This is the Krylon brand. Um, this is not my favorite way. You can see it does look nice and shiny, but my favorite way is to use a two-part epoxy uh, two part epoxy. This one, this amazing crystal clear cast, this is a, a common brand. You can get this at any store. I got this from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I will show another video how to mix this, but you see the difference how it's nice, almost glass-like. And I did put that little sparkle you see is a little bit of this glitter in there. I put it in the epoxy when I was mixing it up. And then I just attached my lime. The lime we painted, I didn't do anything other than some Mod Podge and glitter. I didn't want this to be too shiny. I like the way it looks contrasting. And then I added a, a ribbon and I used a jewelry kit to put some chains on there. And that's it. I'll show you the difference of the two.